Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here. Yet another four string cigar box guitar lesson. This is a humbucker four string Blues Boy Jag handmade cigar box guitar. I've been making a cigar box guitar since 2004. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. J-A-G-S-H-O-U-S-E.com. <laughs> Today, the great T-Bone Walker, Stormy Monday. All right, so we are tuned normal on this particular song. In other words, this is a fifth string tuned to A from a regular six string set, the fourth string tuned to D, the third string tuned to G, just like any six string guitar, and the first string tuned to B. So one more time. A, D, G, B. This is your natural tuned four string cigar box guitar. Most cigar box guitars are tuned, most four string, are tuned with the A string tuned down to G. But in this case, we're tuning them just like a regular six string guitar for the fifth string, the fourth, the third, and the second. All right, let's get right to it. The first chord is an A9. And what you're gonna be doing is putting your first finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. Third string on the third string, fifth fret. Second finger, second string, fourth fret. And first string, you're going to be on the fifth fret with your pinky. So one more time, the fifth string. That's an A flat. Then you've got your next string, your fourth string, which is going to be D, E, F, G. Second string is a G, A, B, C. And your first finger is a B up to a C, D, E. So one more time, first finger on four, four, fourth string, fourth fret. And then your third finger is gonna be on the third string, fifth fret. Second finger on the second string, fourth fret. Pinky on the first string, fifth fret. So play along with me, make sure you get this chord right. If it sounds different than that, then you got your finger in the wrong place. That's what she said. So what we have here is an A9 chord. This song is in the key of A. We're gonna be playing an A9 and a D9 and an E9. We're gonna be playing the same chord shape moved up here to the 10th fret. That would be your D9. Exact same chord. And when I say 10th fret, that means your pinky is on the 10th fret, not your first finger. Just like when we go down to the A9, your first finger is not the root note. In other words, that's not on the 5th fret. It's hard to explain, which that doesn't really apply to this except for 6th string. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. So, pinky on the 5th fret for this shape. Or you could say your 3rd finger. If you're on a 6th string guitar, you're going to be playing the same chord shape on a six string guitar. So the easy way to know where you are for an A9 is just physically look at that fifth fret, but your first finger is not on the fifth fret in this case. If you play regular six string guitar and you play, for instance, this very common bar chord here, your first finger is on the fifth fret for an A major bar chord. That does not apply here. So it might be a little bit weird to y'all if you haven't played an A9 chord before. So what I always do is I use my pinky as the root fret. In other words, my pinky goes on the fifth fret. The fifth fret being your normal A bar chord for a six string guitar. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, don't worry about any of that stuff and just put your fingers in the right place. So that's your A9. The second chord, move up with your pinky on the 10th fret, which would be a D9. And then the third chord moved two up from that. So you're using the same chord or same fingering for all three chords. 
The cool thing about the A9 chord is you can go down below A9. You can go one below and one up and it sounds really cool. All right, so when we start out this song, we're gonna move it up one fret to an A sharp nine. And then one below for A flat nine. So what we're doing here, we're starting out with your pinky on the fifth fret with that A9. So you can kind of jump back and forth one fret below and one fret above that A9. So the original song starts with an A sharp nine. So your pinky is going to be on the sixth fret and you're going to slide down to the key, which is A9. So, having said all of that, you put your pinky on the 6th fret and you play this chord and you slide down to the A9. That's your destination chord because that's the key, but you're going to start one above it, right? Now we're going to go one below it. Alright, you've heard this from the Allman Brothers probably a trillion times. So you're starting on A sharp 9, so it's just one above A9. So pinky's on the 6th fret with its shape, move it down to the 5th fret. Now move it to the 4th fret, 5th fret, 6th, 5th, one more time. All of those chords are exactly the same, I'm just moving them up one fret and down one fret. Start on the 6th fret, go down to 5th, go down to 4th, 5th, 6th, 5th. Now with the last chord, we're going to bar all the way across on that 5th fret. You're going to put your 3rd finger on the 5th, 4th string, 7th fret. I'm barring all across with my 1st finger, but I'm superseding that 1st finger with my 3rd finger 2 frets above that. Now you put your 2nd finger on the 3rd string, 6th fret. That's it. Now you probably recognize that riff, right? You've heard it a trillion times. Well, they call it Stormy Monday. But Tuesday's just as bad. So what was all that? That sounds like a whole bunch of fancy chords. Nope. Still using the same chord. We were only using one chord shape for this song, except for that chord, which is your intro chord. So anyway, when he starts singing, they call it Stormy Monday. Now I'm moving that same chord up to 10, to 12, with my pinky, and back down to 10. This is the same chord we started with, right? So when you start the song, that's your intro. Now, when you start singing, they call it Stormy Monday. 10th fret, 12, back down to 10. Now we go six to five, but Tuesday is just as bad. One more up to six, one more down to five, down to four, five, six, Five. You can pull up the original T-Bone Walker and play right along with this with your four-string cigar box guitar as long as you're not tuned to open G. And that's the whole song, folks. So, to recap, here's the intro. That's the same as the first chord. They call it Stormy Monday. Same chord, 10 to 12, back to 10. But Tuesday's just as bad. 6 to 5. 4, 5, 6, 5. They call it Stormy Monday. Doing all that again. But Tuesday's just as bad.
was just two more chord shapes. Sounds like you're playing 16 chords. Nope, playing three chord shapes for the entire song. So what was that part? They call it Stormy Monday, but Tuesday is just as bad. They call it Stormy Monday, I'm going through this pretty quick. But Tuesday is just as bad. You know, Wednesday is worse. And Thursday is also sad. So, when you go back down to that second part there, what I'm doing here is I'm borrowing all the way across. I'm using my third finger on the fourth, or third finger on the third string. Now I'm moving up. So I borrow all the way across. So what we have here is a walk up. You're barring all the way across. You're using your third finger on the third string, and that's gonna be on the ninth fret. Now we move up two frets, same chord. Now we go down one, same chord. Now we do this chord. So second finger is gonna be on the fourth string seventh fret, first finger right behind that on the third string sixth fret. Then your third finger is going to be on the second string seventh fret, and your pinky is on the first string seventh fret. So make sure when you play this, it sounds like this chord. All right, that's the whole song. So we're going to go back to the beginning intro. They call it Stormy Monday. But Tuesdays, just as bad. It's all the same chord. They call it Stormy Monday. Same chord, sliding from 10 to 12. But Tuesdays, 6 to 5, just as bad. Where we change chords, we're going to bar all the way across with the first finger on the seventh fret, and we're going to use your third finger on the fourth string on the ninth fret. Two frets up, one fret down. Now we go to the third chord, third chord shape. So you're going to have your second finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. We went over this a second ago. First finger on the third string, sixth fret. Third finger is going to be on the second string, seventh fret, and pinky is on the first string, seventh fret. I think I may have told you that wrong, sorry. Second finger on the fourth string, seventh. First finger on the third string, sixth. And then your third finger is going to be on the second string, seventh fret. And your pinky on the first string, on the seventh fret. All right, so what we have here is... That's the end of the first verse. Call it Stormy Monday, but Tuesday's just as bad. They call it Stormy Monday, but Tuesday's just as bad. You know, Wednesday's worse. Here's the final chord. Bar all the way across on the fifth fret, and you're going to use your Second finger on the first string, sixth fret, and you're going to use your third finger on the third string, seventh fret. Back to the A9, up to the D9, back to the A9, and we're doing that intro chord again. So it sounds like there's a whole bunch of chords in this song. There's not, there's only what, four shapes? You got your first chord. Second one. All these chords are the same. Now is where they change. And the final chord looks like a D minor seven on a six string guitar. Back to the A9, D9, 
A9. That's a single note walk up from the fifth string, uh, fifth fret, fourth string to the sixth to the seventh. So, one more time all the way through. I'll do this a little bit faster to save some time. They call it Stormy Monday. But Tuesday's just as bad. They call it Stormy Monday. But Tuesday's just as bad. That's the whole song. So there's a few different chord shapes that you may not be familiar with, unless you played that song on a six string guitar. Those shapes are identical. Obviously you have a different configuration. You've only got four strings. But those are the same notes you would play on a six string for these chords. So this, by the way, is an A9. And this would be your D9 and your E9. Same chord, just moved up. And this is your D9. So A9, A sharp 9, A9, A flat 9, D9, D9, you can also do that here, sounds different. Sorry, I don't know the name of that one. It's a D minor 7. Now, how would you play a solo on this? Just like you would on a regular guitar because we're tuned like a regular guitar. So, pentatonic A. pentatonic that you would play on a regular six string guitar right there same frets same fingers Hope you all enjoyed the lesson. Be sure and check out my website, jagshouse.com, for my cigar box guitars, J-A-G-S-H-O-U-S-E.com. There's probably a link over here or over here. I can never get it right. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.